Hey everybody, this is your man Don T. Um, Tony, Mr. Be Good himself. I just want to thank everyone for all the support and the positive feedback that I got about my videos. I definitely appreciate it. And to those who been inboxing me the questions, I will respond to you ASAP. If you have any more additional questions for me, please contact me and I will <clears throat> answer the, uh, depending on the question, I, I respond within either that day or it'll never take me a week to respond. So just feel free to email me with anything. Right now, I'm going to show you the basics of saving your material. When you first get the MPC Renaissance, of course, you're going to be excited because it's the new unit. But at the same time, you may stumble on, you know, something, a sequence that you may like. And you want to know how to save it, especially by being, you know, the first one on your new product. Um, basically, it's easy. You really have to know the difference of saving a sequence and saving the project because sometimes you can save a sequence and as you already know, um, you know, saving a sequence is usually just MIDI information. It doesn't actually save the sounds. So I'm going to show you how to save your project and reopen your project the way it was. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, to save a sequence is easy. First of all, like myself, you want to click right here in the sequence box. Um, as you can see, well you can't see because this camera is kind of bad, but I name my sequence so I can be more organized. You guys want to try and get in the habit of that. But it's really easy to do. You just click in the sequence box. Um, you know, you scroll down. You see it says unused. You double click and you highlight that box. Press delete and then you type in whatever you want and just hit hit enter. Um, now that you did that, <laughs> you can go to f the file menu and hit save current sequence and you know when you do that this box will show up you name your sequence you put it in the destination where you want it where, where you're most familiar and you click save now your MIDI information is saved after you do that you're going to go to file and save project After you do that, you name it, of course, or you go to save, go to save project as, so you can name it, and then, again, select the destination, and hit save. This saves the sounds and the sequence. So if I click off, if I quit this, if I quit this program. I can reopen it. And go to low recent. Hit OK. As you can see, all my data and all the files and the MIDI information and the sound is loading up. And you hit play.
And that's how you save a sequence, you guys. NPC Renaissance. You gotta get it. You gotta get it.